Hi, everybody. What is going on? You know we ran out of juice, right? We should have picked some up when we was outside. What's going on, y'all? So, I know I said that I was going to make some ugali like five times now, and I still haven't done it. Um, but it's happening right now. Right now, I'm going to cook some beef stew and ugali for you guys. I was intending on going on live yesterday and um, and doing this, but unfortunately, I wasn't able to because, you know, I had things just going on and I didn't even eat dinner last night. So, um, but now I'm going to 100% make it for you guys. So right now I'm actually just starting up with the, the beef. So I have these like beef chunks. Okay, I have these beef chunks. And um, I seasoned them, I already cleaned it, I did all that stuff. And what I'm gonna do now is, um, now guys, again, everybody does things differently. Hope wants me to make it African style. So I'm gonna try to do that. Um, so right now what I'm gonna do is I have my beef and I'm gonna put it inside of, have y'all look at me. I put it inside of the pot. And I'm just gonna let it, I'm just gonna let it uh, boil so it can soften that meat up. I was confused with the fire. Yeah, yeah. So what's up guys? There's so much I have to talk to you guys about. So a lot of people have been saying, good morning. A lot of people have been saying that they've noticed that I have not been on live. So I'm gonna let this boil you, all right y'all? I'm gonna let this boil you. And I'm gonna come sit down with the mister in the house. Say hey. <laughs> so, you know, a lot has been going on and, you know, I want to make, you know, some videos to kind of explain to you guys, you know, all the craziness that's been going on. But um, as you guys know, I feel like I've said this a million times, but, you know, with the lives and stuff like that, it just, it depends on the internet, it depends on just so many things and I just have a lot going on. Um, but, you know, lives do take strong internet and if I don't... Um, See, as soon you see, I jinxed it. As soon as I said something, it says your connection is unstable. <laughs> yeah, I jinxed it. But um, we're gonna try to, you know, um, do this live thing today. Especially, I told you guys that I was gonna try to make this ugali. I feel like way too many times, and I just have not done it. Um, a lot of you guys have been asking, where are we? We are currently in Namibia. I have this whole journey coming out for you guys soon about how we got here to Namibia. Um, it was just a mess of a situation. Um, and those videos are going to be coming out very shortly. Um, please, guys, make sure you like, comment, subscribe um, my videos. Um, please, I know I haven't been doing the lives like that, but, you know, show my upload some love, too. Show them some love. Definitely go check out those videos and, you know, um, Follow the journey. So um, right now, as I said, you know, we're currently in Namibia. And ideally, we would like to go to Zimbabwe. At this point right now in our journey, we're not sure if that's going to be possible due to the borders being closed and just by ear at this point to see if um, we'll be able to do it. Because, you know, part of this whole journey was to get to Zimbabwe. And it's kind of very disappointing at the fact that, you know, it seems like it's like so difficult to get into Zimbabwe for like the past year. Oh my God. Like if you're a Zimbabwean and you're watching this, what is going on for real? Like it is like really difficult to get into this country. Like I, I just don't understand. Um, and you know, I'm kind of, you know, 
I don't know. We're, we're staying here for a little bit with the hopes of, I think they're having a press conference. The president of Zimbabwe is having like a press conference in the next couple of days. It's like beginning of February. So um, we're just kind of waiting to see how that goes because there's just so much that, you know, I want to do in Zimbabwe and I just can't get in there. You know, I am considering maybe, you know, another time one of my sponsored, um, uh, one of my sponsors, uh, what you call it? Um, one of my one of my sponsors. She is supposed to come to Zimbabwe. She had a flight and everything to meet her students. To meet, yeah, and meet her student actually. And um, as of right now, we're very unsure if we're very unsure if that's gonna happen. But we'll see, you know, you never know. Um, we want more of you answer our questions and more interaction. What questions do you have? I'm here right now, let me answer your questions. What type of questions do you have? What, 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 questions, what questions do you have? I'm more than willing to answer your questions um, and interaction. I try to interact with you guys as much as possible, but again, internet takes a, in order for me to contact you guys, it has to do with internet. And if I don't have strong internet, which in Zambia, it was, it was very hard to get internet. Um, again, you'll see those logs of when they come out. So you see like how crazy it was, but even so like, when I started this journey, you know, I, I was on live at least multiple times a day and stuff like that. Um, and that has been very, very, very special. But, you know, with internet and traveling throughout Africa, not every place is the same. You know, when we were in Tanzania, it was very easy to just get on the internet and stuff like that. And even here in Namibia, it's, it's not that much difficult. We've just been running around um, to get on the internet. But, you know, I can only do as much as my internet will allow me to do. And you know, also we're trying to, there's just so many other things as well that is going on. And also don't forget, you know, I am a mommy and I have to make sure that, you know, my kid and everything is is, is going well and da 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 da. So. Um, so, but what are your questions? Please ask me, please ask away. Right now you have my un, divided attention completely besides you know my meat is cooking but i think we got some time um before the meat is all the way ready so please ask your question yeah i mean i i tend to if there's a question in the comments of the videos um I, I, I usually tend to answer those questions. I don't think I have not answered any questions unless it's like an appropriate question that I feel that I'm not going to answer. Um, or I don't know, I, I, answer, I answer mostly everybody's questions. I feel like I do, I feel like I'm pretty good with that. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I feel like I'm pretty, pretty, pretty good with that. Um, yeah, I feel like I'm, I'm pretty good with that. The only thing that, like I said, I mean, I just discovered this whole live thing. When did we discover this live thing? I think maybe like before we started the journey. Remember, we were we were at the um, we were at this uh, mall, and um, that's when I discovered how to do live. So before then, I was just putting out videos, uploaded videos. I wasn't on any lives. Um, but you know, on another note, guys, like we are like in love with Namibia. Like Namibia is just beautiful. What do you got? Camera? Um Namibia is 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 a gorgeous country. Like I <laughs> James said, how long will you how long do you plan to be in Namibia? Y'all, if we could live here, we would, seriously, we, I mean, it's just, it's beautiful. Like, it's just, it's so beautiful. I feel like there's a lot of things about Namibia that, you know, we really love. And I feel like a big part of what we love about Namibia is the slowness, if that makes sense, the population. 
like in the whole country of Namibia, it's about like what they said, two point five. Two million. Two million. Two million people, y'all. Two million. I don't even, I think more than two million people lived in my neighborhood in New York and Brooklyn. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so it's so like it's just nice. It's just calm. Even when it's busy, like busy see, it's just nice. Um and we really don't want to live around too many people. Like, seriously, that is like, yeah, I heard Hope. You know, Hope would rather have one house on a hill with nobody else. Uh, me, you know, I need, I need neighbors, but I don't like crowds. So the fact that it has such a small population, like a very small population, is very nice. It's lovely. Um, the houses here are just guys they are like drop dead gorgeous like they are like it gives me a lot of miami vibes you know like the way the miami houses have like the see-through glasses and the really nice infrastructure like it really gives me miami vibes um and it's a big like there's so much land it's such a big country um so there's space like you can completely like get a house in the hill next to nobody like straight up it's so nice um what else do we like about it traffic there's never traffic there's just never traffic um everybody minds their business everybody does their own thing um it's a pretty uh business oriented place um what else is really good before i talk about the downfalls I think everything is perfect here. Yeah, Hope loves Namibia. He's like, everything is perfect here. He's the one who actually suggested that, like, maybe we should all live here. He Africa, loves. All of the Africa. No, you can't. You're about to piss people off. You can't no, say that. No. Namibia no, uh -uh. is different. Everything is different. Like, my they, my beef. Know, yeah, that's what I'm here. Oh. <laughs> uh, Guys, don't listen to Hope. You can't say that. People are gonna beat you up. No, no. This, his opinion, guys, is his yeah, opinion. Yeah, his opinion is that Namibia is the most beautiful country in Africa. Well, those people would be going to the situation. Think you're about to get beat up. Listen, listen. <laughs> it's not beautiful about the, let's say, uh, about the building uh, or something mm -hmm. like that. No. It's just, uh, you know, I can even go to Somalia right now and then I can say it's beautiful. But it's just the way you yeah. feel. The way of life here is yeah. very, it's just very nice. Yeah. Like, I agree. I mean, it's, it's, I do not agree that it's the most beautiful country in Africa. No, we, I'm not, not going that far. I, I don't say it's the most beautiful. No, I don't uh, say that. What do you say? The South Africa. Remember that. The, South Africa is beautiful too, but yeah. it's not more beautiful than Namibia to me. So you see, so it's everybody know the way. It's not more beautiful. Than someone America. can come, can can go in a, in Indonesia or Bali. And say, no, I don't like Bali. It's, you know, it's just a personal opinion. But me, for yeah, me, so you have every right to your opinion. But for me, here's the place me to be. He loves Namibia, guys. He lo when I say he loves Namibia, like. He don't want to go nowhere. He's like, I want to stay here. But then <laughs> 10 minutes ago, you told him like, you miss Tanzania and you want to yeah, go back yeah. home. Like, don't yeah, listen to Hope No Mind. Don't, don't. All right, let me read some of these. Namibia is beautiful, but they have many racial tensions like South Africa. Mm -hmm. Many Germans live here and they don't like blacks, especially. Yeah. Yeah. Have you thought about going to Botswana? So I've actually already been to Botswana. Um, I think Botswana is absolutely beautiful, but I can never live in Botswana. It's too, it's, it's, it's a little too boring for me. I, I can't. Um, you can tell people why we don't. We, we like this place, but we don't want to live here. Who? That's not true. Me, me, you. That's not true. You want to live here. You're a liar. <laughs> why are you lying to these people? Why are you lying to these people? Um... And um, I don't know. We've been here now for how long, honey? Like, like a month now, and we have not had that experience. I have not. Um, I have not had that experience at all about any racial things. I mean, I've talked to Hope about it because we have definitely noticed that there are more Caucasian people here than. I think I've seen throughout Africa. Um, 
but I can't explain it. The Caucasian people here, they act different. They act very different because they understand that you're in Africa. There are black people. This is our soil. So they're very humble. I have that like coming from New York, coming from like the United States where there is nothing but like, you know, rednecks. I hate black people. The people here are definitely like way different, like the Caucasian people here. And most of them are not Caucasian people that were like born elsewhere and came here. Like you said, like Germans and stuff like that. They are, are born here and are African, 100%. And, and, and also we can just say like, uh, you know, they are half of them and half of black. You know what I mean? Yeah. You know that? Yeah. The thing about the thing about Namibia is that it's a very big mixed race. Like there are black people, there are Hispanic people, there are white people, there are like pretty I would not see Asian people. Even like Tanzanian people they are here. Yeah, Tanzanian oh, people oh, here. Oh, he oh, every oh, time oh, you see somebody oh, speaking oh, Swahili. Yeah. So there's so many different cultures. It, it reminds me of, of like a mini New York, you know, because there's a melting pot of different cultures here, but it's the Caucasian people here are very humble, at least from my experience yet. And I have come across a lot of them and we've had conversations and things like that. And they have a very different out spurts of like, they, they just think differently because they are aware that this is Africa and black people own this soil. Okay. Now, let me see. I love your content. You always say it's safe, but what about LGBT people, queer people, or different people? Is there representation? Is it safe? I've heard so many mixed things. Okay. I think this is an important question. Um, you know, this is the thing. Um, how can we... How First of all, I don't, I don't see... I don't like to get into topics like this because I never want to offend anybody. But here's what I will say. Um, a lot of the cultures in Africa, first of all, there's so many. And there are a lot of, and honey, if you can help me with this question, that'd be great. Mm -hmm. There are a lot of um, older practices and older like um, beliefs, okay? America and Africa, different. Don't even compare it. The way people are open in the Western world about LGBT people, LGBTQ people, um, <laughs> you can't compare. It's very different, okay? Um, I feel like um, Africa definitely has, speaking again, like, like my brother is actually LGBTQ. So, and he actually is gonna come to the motherland for the first time, hopefully next year. So I will be vlogging that. So that way, especially for someone like you can see his experience and see his side and things like that. Um, so definitely wait for that. Um, but I think it depends on the person. And I also think it depends on the generation. It just depends, it, it really depends on the generation because people that are in like our generation, we like, we are aware of that. You know, me, I come from America, so it's different, but like people like Hope, you know what I'm saying? Like is aware that there are gay people in the world. And do you give a fuck? No. <laughs> he, doesn't care. He, doesn't, he doesn't care. Yeah. So there are a lot of people, especially in the gener younger generation, and you do find, I mean, I've found people in Tanzania that are like um, queer like and feminine, feminine males, and, and they're fine. Mm -hmm. um, so it depends. Are you going to find ignorant people? 100% you're going to find ignorant people even in the United States. But what I will say is that, I mean, also look at the country because some countries, it's actually um, illegal. So you have to be very careful. Do I agree with that? No, of course not. I don't agree with that. Why should the government have a say on who you're in bed with? Um, but some countries, it is illegal and you cannot, you know, go outside. I mean, but also some countries it's illegal for us to be on the street hugging and kissing. And we're, you know, yes, a woman and a uh, man and... It's just we just go by and, uh, we just go girl. By, we just go by the culture. It's yeah, it's it's it's, it's 
big on the culture and it depends on the culture and it also depends on the generation 1000 no. percent. because like i said i feel like people who are in the younger generation really just don't care you know what i'm saying like that's your life go live your life like who cares you know what i'm saying yeah. but you do have people in the older generation who like listen guys like i i literally get side eye sometimes because of my tattoos you know what i'm saying and younger generations they don't care they absolutely don't care at the fact that i have tattoos but the older generation looks like mm, why she got tattoos mm. so you know what i'm saying you gotta have tough skin um in terms of safety in terms of when you say safety I absolutely would not recommend for you to be making out, even if you're a woman and a man on the street, because not only is it disrespectful, but you know, somebody might not like it. So the whole being out in the public, and it also depends on the country. It also really depends on the country as well, because in South Africa, there are a lot of queers and I think they're fine. I actually have a friend who is a gay male in South Africa. Uh, it would be nice if I could go to South Africa and do like an interview with him so that way I can, he can, from his experience, better on. But from what I know for him, the problem with him is the acceptance from his parents being African, um, older, strict parents, rather than the community. Like he has more of an issue with his parents accepting him because they will disown you sometimes, just like happens in America, um, rather than um, rather than like the outside people. So it just depends. It, it, I think it depends on, like I said, the generation. It depends on the country. It depends. That looks great. It depends on. Um, your behavior, you know what I'm saying? 100% depends on your behavior. You know, how are you uh, behaving in public? You know what I'm saying? Like, are you going around grabbing people? You know what I'm saying? Like, it just it just depends. Um, and he is coming out to Tanzania, hopefully next year. Um, and one of my uh, really close friends is also queer and he's coming out, he should be coming out next year as well. So, I am totally gonna make this vlog for you, Royal, if you know they feel comfortable, which my brother is not shy on the camera, so I highly doubt that he's not gonna feel comfortable. And you know, I'll even get like uh vlogs of him, you know, walking and seeing people's reactions and things like that. You know, like I, I completely, of course. Um, because I think that it's a legit um it's a legit concern. And um, of course, you know, you always want to be safe and you also don't want to change like who you are as a person. Um, but everywhere you go, there's different generations and people feel people feel differently ab about different things. You know, absolutely. You are completely a person. Absolutely. Listen, I come from a family full of queer people. I was adopted by two moms. So trust me, I come like my whole family is queer. OK. My sister's queer, my brother's queer, I got two moms, like I'm like the only straight person. So I get it, I completely get it. And they should be coming next year. Um, and it's a concern for a lot of people, like it really is a concern for a lot of people. Um, Hope? Yep. Um, they wanna know what drone do you use? Oh, all right. Thanks. Let me bring it. Uh, Hope is going to bring it. You are so extra. Oh, yeah, Thank just you. extra. They just want to know the name. You got to bring it, display it. <laughs> uh, all right. So he's going to show you the drone. He coming back. Oh, he already got it. You see? Let me check on my meat while, while he does this. It's just this one. Uh, it's just my big, uh, my big what? My big mini. It's a small drone, like the way you think. It's like um, just a simple drone and it's easy. You can just fly wherever you want and it's just easy. You can just even put on, on your pocket. It's just easy. So if you want the drone, it's here. 
Das Mavic Mini. Mavic Mini. Ja, I'm done. <laughs> and the thing is, if you're considering getting a drone, you know, uh, we would both definitely recommend for you to have a small drone because um, if the drone weighs under a certain amount of grams, most countries will let you bring it in with no problem. It's like the bigger drones that they're like, right what are you, a spy? What are you? Why are you bringing this here? But if you if you just bring like a really small one and... Um, yeah, if you bring like a really tiny one and you just say it's for personal use, then usually you won't have a problem. All right, so also, I want to say great content from Malawi and Tanzania. Guys, we will be bringing, we will be bringing, we will be posting content about Namibia soon. <laughs> we know we've been here for a month, but we've been lazy for a month. Um, we are going to go inside of the desert soon and we're going to be posting great content um, very soon. But Hope actually has been posting Namibia concert on concert mm -hmm. content on his profile. So please go follow him on YouTube. I just pulled it out, um, but I haven't posted anything yet here. No problem. Guys, keep on with the questions. I'm gonna <laughs> I went, I just went on Google. It's the church verse, the church, the X. Yeah, go follow Hope on YouTube because he's man, especially if you like his drum and you like that quality, trust and believe. That's no, that one not which that one? Yours. Mine? Mm -hmm. Sour. Um, I'm gonna post the link right here in the comments. Um, all right, so I totally enjoyed your, visit, your video from Tanzania. Thanks for the info about the one-year visa and 90-day restriction. Can you explain more about that? Mm. Can I explain more about that? Do I know more? Um, to be honest, I don't think I know more about it. I think that's all I know. Um, yeah, that's the tourism visa. Uh, I, yeah, I think that's the only one. Oh, actually, yes, I do know. Um, so when you when you go to the airport or however you get into the country and you get the uh, tourism visa, it's considered an East Africa visa. So you get to you get to stay there for the full year, but Again, remember every 90 days you have to leave the country. But for the first three months, for the first three months, you get to travel anywhere in East Africa for free for with the visa. It's no problem. Um, but I think that's about it that I know. I am going to find out uh, more about visas when I get back to Tanzania. So please watch out for that video because I do need to sit down with an immigration lawyer to talk about some other options for visas since I am going to be probably unless we move to namibia permanently staying in tanzania with this handsome mm. this handsome fella <laughs> this handsome fella i love you michael fender but this handsome fella um we are going to be moving in to get the visas so i would definitely let you know that 100 percent um Let's see, let's answer some more questions. Also, can you explain the banking system there and money transfer? Um, woo! That's a hard question because I have not opened up a bank account in Tanzania. Not yet. I plan on doing that when I get back. So that video also will be coming soon. However, I do know friends who have, um, bank uh bank accounts in tanzania and i think there's only one bank that will allow you to open up a bank account with a um with a uh uh foreign passport there's only one bank and i'm pretty sure is it what's the what's that big bank that i used to always take money out of is it standard uh standard charter yeah yeah i think it's standard standard what charter. standard chata I think I think that is, but don't quote me. Um, but I think that's the only bank that allows you to actually like um, 
open up a bank account as a foreigner. Otherwise, you would have to have like a Tanzanian ID, which you can get a Tanzanian ID if you have another visa other than the tourist visa. So I will definitely get you some information on that when I head back to Tanzania because I will be opening a bank account. Okay, so thank you. Thank you for being open and um, allowing us to be a part of your journey. Of course, of course, of course, 100%. Um, as a Tanzanian citizen, Hope can travel between uh, countries visa-free uh, if he overstayed. Yeah. What? You can't. Wait. You, you can't. You can't travel and you overstay. You no, can't. you can't have an overstay. It's never okay to overstay. You can't. They're, they're gonna charge you all these crazy fees and stuff. But Hope travels everywhere for free. I hate it so much because literally every single country we go to Zambia. Oh, you Tanzanian, no problem, go through. Namibia, oh, you Tanzanian, no problem, go through. And I'm the one who's sitting there being asked 10 million questions as to why I'm in their country. And I'm like, but you just let him through. When it comes to African countries, unless it's like Egypt or Morocco, you know, those countries that think they're from the Middle East, um, that's the only time that he has uh, issues. But other than that, I mean, literally, like they, serious issues. they, yeah, some serious issues too. They, they be doing the most over there. But they just see his passport and be like, okay, poop, go. Me, they be like, hmm, what you want? Why are you here? They be giving me problems, y'all. I just be, he be on the other side of the gate, and I be on this side. <laughs> Let me through. <laughs> um, I want to see y'all do more challenges like Chubby Bunny one. That was hilarious. Please. Re no, he said like the Chubby Bunny challenge. Please <laughs> give us recommendations on the challenges that you guys want to see. I'm totally. Are you with it? Yeah. I'm with it. We had so much fun doing that. I failed that time. You failed. Are you really? Are you really? <laughs> um. No, I would love to do challenges. The only thing that you won't see from us is pranks. I don't like pranks. I don't have the heart for pranks. I just, I, I'm too sensitive for pranks. But otherwise, like challenges and all that stuff, like I, we love, I would love to do it. If you give us the recommendation, then I will make Hope film tomorrow and be like, Hope, huh? come on. They said they want to see this challenge. We're going to do this challenge. Um. I'm completely like fine with that 1000%. Um, I think with I think with DNH, we're still trying to find our niche. We are trying to find our um, our you know what our channel is gonna be about. Cause right now, you know, we just broadcast our love. That's pretty much all we do. Hi, my meat is doing good. Out of all the countries you've been to, which is the cheapest cost living long term? Okay, so I think I'm gonna put them in order. Between Namibia and Malawi, which one would you say is more expensive? Mm -hmm. Malawi and Namibia. Okay, so number one most expensive is gonna be Namibia, where we are now. Number two is gonna be Malawi. Number three is going to be Zambia. Yeah, Zambia is expensive. Zambia is expensive. Yeah. Zambia was expensive? Zambia is expensive more than Zambia. No, but we found places to stay in $10 a night. Yeah, but in value, we're talking in general value. You think so? Yeah. I asked the hmm. guy, he said it's so expensive. Hmm. Listen, the cheapest place so far that we've been to is Tanzania. <laughs> And, and let me tell you the reason why. And we're not just saying that because we're biased. No, 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 okay? I'm not saying that because we're biased. The reason why I would say so far the cheapest place is Tanzania is because with a lot of these countries, things are imported. When food is imported, when everything is imported, the cost is high. In Tanzania, everything is freshly grown. Like, you find every type of material, Everything is in Tanzania. So therefore, you're not, it's not being imported, so the prices are not that expensive. That's 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 really the problem. Yeah, it's like living in New York. Yeah. But I heard Rwanda is cheaper than um is cheaper than uh yeah, Tanzania. Rwanda, Rwanda so you know when we get when we get to Rwanda, Uganda, 
Uganda, Rwanda, but that's because they also grow their own stuff as well. So the countries I that about the, uh, what they say, the economy is down. The economy is down. But apparently, we found out today in Namibia. Like, okay, guys, let me give you guys an example because maybe you guys think that we're being, you know, over dramatic. But in Namibia, for like, we found out from this woman today. She said, for a family of four, so her and her husband plus two small kids, maybe like three or four, she spends about $400 to $500 US dollars um, a month on groceries. On groceries. On groceries. And then the houses here is like, um, what did they say? What they said, the, it was, it was, one of the house here over here is like a 12 million Namibian dollars. So how much was it in US dollars? 12 million Namibian dollars. Somebody Google that. 12 million Namibian dollars to US dollars is how much? I think maybe like, somebody Google that real quick. Twelve million Namibian dollars. Come on, guys. Twenty-one of you watching. How much is that to U.S. dollars? How much is that? Twelve million. It's like twelve million. Bell. No, that's not right. That's right. But I think I think no, I'm wrong. I'm wrong. You're wrong. No, but this person said the right the same answer as you. Twelve million. No, baby, you're wrong. You have to add a zero. Ah. You're wrong. Because it's 12 million. Yeah, you see? Million. Yeah, you put 1 million to 200,000. No. I'm sitting here like, no, 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 that can't be right. Because if that's the case, then we. <laughs> we gotta go buy a house now. Uh, no, hold on. 12 million Namibian dollars. Hold on. Oh my God. 12. All right, enter. Twelve million. Enter. Why is my entering? Okay. So about close to eight hundred thousand dollars. So almost one million U.S. dollars. Twelve million. Like that's expensive. We can't afford that. So hope can I have all these dreams and hopes about living here? But <clears throat> it's expensive, and even. The little tiny houses in Namibia in US dollars is like two hundred to three hundred thousand dollars US dollars. What information on Airbnb could you share about Arusha? I'm looking and it's very limited. I know what the Airbnb is very limited in Arusha. I guys, I want to open up an Airbnb, I want to open up a guest house. <laughs> you baby, look, you see, we have the demand is here. They want it. They want the demand. Yes, it's very limited in Arusha for Airbnbs, but listen, when you come in, hopefully we got something by then. I guys, I really want to open. I love y'all know I love real estate. Like I really do. Y'all already know, like I own a place in New York and I love, love, love real estate. Um Love real estate. So I really want to open up this. Like, I don't want to go into too much detail because Hope already, you know, gave me that look. But I want to open up like a really nice, like jewels on the run. Guess how so good. When you guys come here in Tanzania, you can meet us. And we can, yeah, we can be vibing, all right? We can put a little African, a little Western, you know, mix it up together, you know, something popping, you know what I'm saying? I really am trying to do that, like, seriously. Um, I am in, D, I'm in uh, Namibia, 
And uh, what did someone say? I didn't see. Namibia sounds very expensive. How how long can a single person live in Tanzania for a thousand US dollars? Um, Namibia is very expensive. So, baby, how a single person? When you mean single, like just you by yourself, like in a one bedroom or something like that. How long can a single person live in Tanzania for a thousand dollars? A thousand. Uh-huh. So you're just having one thousand. One thousand. And he already paid for the place. Or... No, that's what he wants to know. How long does it take? I can say just like two months. How? Yeah. No way. Sure. How? It's cheap or expensive. No, it's expensive. How? Let's do the math. Give no. me the phone. Give me the phone. The for, okay. He can get a one bedroom apartment in town. He can get a one bedroom apartment for like what two hundred dollars a month. Well, it depends. Furnished or unfurnished? Yeah, yeah. He has, he has to say. James, do you want furnished or unfurnished? Because that makes a big difference. I think it's just three months or two months. If you already yeah, Malawi is really beautiful, but Malawi is expensive. Mm -hmm. Malawi is very beautiful though. Mm, the food smells so good. Unfurnished. So unfurnished is not enough. A unfurnished place. Yeah, you, you don't get anything. How much can he get an unfurnished place? Unfurnished place, you just get a plain house. Like a, How much would it be? It's according to the standard you want. And which <laughs> Why are you being you so want? complicated? No, yeah. Let's say it like this, okay? <laughs> let's uh, say... Let me, let me say it like this. Arusha is cheap more than that. All right, so let's say in Jiro. Jiro. Yes, let's say, and it, guys, obviously, All this right, is a very general, rough estimate. It depends one, on the place. Okay. Wait, baby. It depends on the place that you stay. It depends on your standard of living. It depends yeah. on all of that stuff. Yeah. But, oh, wait, $9,000, $10,000. Y'all, uh, I'm 10, sorry. 000. I said. $10,000? You can live a year. I said $1,000. <laughs> sorry, I was like. <laughs> Year. I sold one thousand dollars. I don't know why. <laughs> Ten thousand dollars. Sorry, y'all. Ten thousand dollars. A year. I think it could take you further than a year. That's a year. I think it could take you further than a year. That's a year. I think it could take you further than a year. Listen, I disagree with you. Listen to me. This I disagree. Is, I, I have experience on that. Me, I have experience too. But you, you have experience. But you, when you, when you came in Tanzania, you want to start and living like in New York. Okay. <laughs> uh, so me, for me, for me, I was just, uh, I was just getting my. Yes, but if he's living the wait, 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 you disagree with me. Listen, okay. Let me tell you from how I, me now. I lived a little more fancier. So let's just say you let's say he wants to do an unfurnished place, mm -hmm. two hundred dollars a month for an unfurnished place. Two hundred. Two hundred U.S. Expensive. So why are you? You're that's contradicting expensive. yourself. That's expensive. Two hundred. Okay, we're expensive. gonna do U.S. dollars. Let's one, do U.S. dollars, not to because I think that you're confusing the two. No, I'm not confused anything. I just understand because uh, in 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 a month for just a one bed and then you have your own like a master room. Okay, for fifty dollar you get a month. Fifty dollars a month. Okay, so month. so just, so, just so if it's fifty dollars. $50 a month times 12 months. Uh -huh. For rent, he's going to pay $600 okay, for the year. All right. So how is $10,000 going to last him one year? All right. No. Uh, okay. He gonna, where are you going to sleep? He have to buy a bed. He have to buy a okay. couch. Okay. To buy a stuff, okay. So electronics, <laughs> a water, food. <laughs> how can you go out what? and eat? Okay. Y'all, y'all done started something between me and Hope. Let me we gonna hook you up, James. Hold on, I got you. Because you trying? Hold on. I'm not trying. Hold on, hold on. Okay, hold on. Let me hold on. Let me hold on. Let me hold on. Hold on. Yeah, I got my handy dandy book. So rent. So to rent the place, he's gonna be paying fifty U.S. dollars a month. Right. I'm gonna get my handy dandy calendar times mm -hmm. 12 months. Mm -hmm. So that's 600 US dollars for the year he's going to be paying. Mm -hmm. 
that's just for rent. Now let's say furniture, right? So it depends on how fancy he wants to go, but he's one person. Uh -huh. One person, so that's one bed. Mm -hmm. How much you think his bed is gonna be? Bed. US dollars. Okay, bed right now is gonna be like uh, 100 and maybe 50. 150 dollars. Now he's not buying furniture every month. He's buying one, one time. One time, yeah. One time, 150 dollars for, 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 for the bed. Uh -huh. Now he needs to buy a little dresser. How much is the dresser gonna be? Dresses, maybe 50. For another fifty dollars. Yeah. Now he needs to buy couch. a couch. How much is the couch the going to be? It's going to be like the same like the bed. So one hundred and fifty dollars. Uh, yeah, it's just a, according to the what again. I this is the, depending on your style. So okay. give a take. Okay. A couch. Uh, we, let, let's say. Hold on. Like, now he need a TV. <laughs> okay, we, we need a TV. We we we. So James, TV, right TV. here. We okay. hooking James up right here. James, okay, he we, wanted to. James, you want a TV? <laughs> <laughs> James, how big you want your TV? How big you want your TV? Because we we gonna hook you up right here. Okay, TV. Let's is just like say six, six hundred to seven something. If you want this dollars. Price. Yes. Huh, James, you sure you want a TV? Yeah. <laughs> it's for for the five inches up to the two inches. Maybe James don't want a TV. Okay. <laughs> TV. Okay. Yeah, fifty inch. So you want a TV? Fifty inch. Right. We go to seven. <laughs> So you want a TV, all right? So now we add seven hundred dollars, so yeah. we had a thousand, all right? So yeah. he got only spent this one time. Mm -hmm. So he got a TV, he got the couch, he got maybe he needs a little dining table, table a dining table. Okay, dining table. Let's you want to get that for like thirty dollars? Let's go, let's go. What? All right. What? How much is for the table? Like thirty dollars. Dang. For the dining table, fam. So it. No. Tanzania, let me sh tell you this. Remember, Tanzania, everything in Tanzania is negotiable. Yes, but Tanzania, uh, iron and wood, wood is expensive more than iron. You have to know that. So get a plastic table. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. We try to be in his budget. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So how much is the table will be? Which one? The, ta the table. Wood? The, the plastic, give him some wood. Well, okay, the plastic wait. with a little with, with two chairs because it's only ten. Two chairs, it's two chairs, be like uh, 40, four, 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 40? 40, yeah, 40 dollars. Yeah. What else does he need? Okay, we um, he, he's gonna have the fridge, he's gonna have okay, we'll toilet, go to the toilet, maybe we'll the kitchen, maybe the like kitchen. the plates. Okay. Let's do an like the plates, the okay. you know, all that stuff. I feel like. One hundred dollars. What? That's yeah. What? The guest on all electronics. Why are you counting his electronics? How do you know he not bringing his electronics? I'm I'm saying you want the guest. No, just the plates. Like no, not the cooker. That's me. Okay. Like so, the plates, so plate, the bowls, plate. the cups, that stuff. Hmm. Hmm. Like a hundred dollars. That's so expensive. More than that, <laughs> I will take you I've there. You babe, I, babe, we've replaced plates that we've broken in Airbnbs, and they've been oh, so cheap. No, for, oh, you're talking about the plates. Plates and I, I and told you, you're talking about the the the, the what plate? The cooker plate. I think. You're talking no, about no. Um, those are so uh, cheap, so cheap. So and like one hundred dollars to get the spoons to get everything yeah, in the yeah, kitchen. Yeah, they. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, y'all would have thought that I've been living in Tanzania better than oh, longer than him. What oh, else yeah. does he need? James, what else you need? Let us know. <laughs> what else do you need? The pot, everything. Um, maybe he wanna get a little curtain. Oh, yeah, uh -huh. So that's like what five dollars? What? <laughs> 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 that's like five dollars, like ten thousand no, no. to ten ten thousand to for a, for a curtain. No. Maybe dragon. if you uh, to the to the local people, they they said really. the the fancy da, 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 da. are these curtains good enough yeah. for you? you no, guys. An update for people who are just watching: we are in um, Namibia right now. I almost forgot where we were. I was like, wait, where were we? Let's take uh, like a uh, general in the room. We can just have it like two hundred and five hundred general for everything. Two thousand and two hundred and five hundred. Let's just do that. Let's just do like. I disagree with that, but let's sure. Let's just do like that. All right. So I completely disagree with that. And let me no, tell y'all something. 
when Hope and I go get our apartment when we're back in Tanzania, I'm going to record everything. I'm going to record when we shop and I'm going to record when we get our bed. I'm going to record everything so y'all can see the course. So he says about 2500 for furniture. Yes. I um, disagree for the whole just, house. You can just General. show them here. Give or take. Uh, just like this. We just take normal like this. Give or take. All right. So now, food. Okay. Food is very no, we cheap. We don't finish about the house. What do you mean? What We're else is the about, house? About, about the unit of the electronics. Sour. So now we have water. Yeah. Uh -huh. And then we have electricity. So it depends yeah. on how much electricity you, you use. use. And uh, electronics. Um, so water, how much is this? It's cheap. It's, cheap. it's, cheap. it's like even it's water in New York is cheap. It's cheap. It's just the way you use it. How much per month? So if we see, it's like it's month, it is, per it's month, maybe it's $5. Okay, so $5 times 12. $5 times 12. It's $60. $60. Mm -hmm. Per year. Okay. Electronic. Electricity, how long? How like, much? Uh, ten per week. Ten dollars per week? No, ten t shillings is like per five dollars. So, so per week. Five for, per month. for so for per month is gonna be twenty five dollars. Uh, okay, then, and then times like twelve. No, it'll be twenty dollars times uh, 12. twelve, so twenty times. Well, so it will be like two hundred and forty dollars. And again, that's the that, how much electricity yeah, you use because you know. Hmm. Me, I use a lot of electricity, so that will last right. me nine. We don't count uh, about the uh, the guy who they gonna bring the stuff here. Oh no, we already put here everything is fine. Now food, right? Because that's, that's all he needs to survive: shelter, electricity, water, food. Mm -hmm. Food is very cheap. Yeah. Food is very cheap. You're not gonna spend more than sixty-five dollars a month. Oh. What? Yeah. Because I would, I used to go to the so, market for. Are you gonna cook himself or are you gonna go and buy? Oh, are you gonna cook yourself or are you gonna <laughs> have a nanny? Nanny, nanny. Oh, nanny's for babies. Get a uh, and you can, a a dada. Uh, a dada to come and clean. To come and clean and cook. Yeah. Are you gonna get somebody to come and clean and cook for you, or, or are you, you gonna to cook to? for yourself? But I would say for groceries, you're not gonna spend more than like fifty, fifty dollars, and I think that's even a lot. So again, now we have another six hundred U.S. dollars. What? What's your right? He's gonna cook himself. He said he need air conditioning too. Air conditioning. <laughs> See, now you asking for a lie. All right. Lie. <laughs> James, you asking for a lie. You you pushing your luck. You pushing your luck. Uh, yeah, yeah. Somebody said internet. Inter internet. Internet is yeah. important. Yes, internet. So how much would internet be? It's a bit expensive, a little bit expensive. It is a little bit expensive, but it's, but just, it's not it expensive it's in Malawi. Everything is just um, how he goes. How, how much you think internet is going to be? Maybe like, how much did I spend? I, I, I feel like I haven't been to Tanzania so long. I like a, a month, like a limited one, we just pay yeah. like a 50, 50 something dollars. Yeah, 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 maybe like 50, just 50 just US for, dollars. A month. Per month times 12, 12 equals six hundred dollars wow. for the internet. Mm -hmm. Um all right. Transport. Transport. Oh yeah, I you are using that. the public or you are using the bajaj, you are using the car, the taxi. Or all right, babe. Let's not do transport. He'll figure out his own transport. Sorry, okay. James. There is sometimes you don't want to 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 eat at home. You wanna to go to the hotel. <laughs> Yeah, sometimes you want to go to get a swim, you want to go, and it's just the pain. The, but that's extra. That's, that's extra. extra. And we that's, about that, we're talking one. about basically, we're trying to get James in a place, hooked up. Okay. We don't know if, if he, <laughs> where he going on Friday night. We try to just hook him. So let's just say, so this is per year. So right now, listen, we yeah. So right now, listen, we got your rent is going to be about $50 mm -hmm. um, a month times 12. So that's $600. Okay, plus one time, okay, um, your furniture is going to be about $2,500, but that's only one time that you would pay that. Plus the $60 for the water per year, $60. Then the electricity is going to be about $240 per year. And then the food is going to cost you about $600 per year. $600 per year. What? I used to pay that like per month when I was in New York. And then the internet would be about $600 per year. So a total estimate is going to be 
$4,600 that you would pay per that year. Now, the next year, you would minus the $2,500 that you paid on furniture because you're not going to buy a whole bunch of furniture the next year. So then per year, you'd be paying $2,100 per year, not per month, per year. That's give or take. Like it's like Hope said, like if you want to eat out, if you want to go to the club and drink some drinks or transport and the rest of the stuff, but like the basic living. But me for real, I just have said like, uh, it's just That's like you, a, James. It's just like a That's one year you. and six months for that money. I can just How? Like that. <laughs> Oh, Listen, how? You know, remember, remember. Let, let me remind you something like this. You know, sometimes you just ask yourself why we are in Zanzibar, and then you ask, why? Well, because why Zanzibar, the Zanzibar, Zanzibar, is Zanzibar is expensive. <laughs> when the money goes, Zanzibar oh. is expensive. But we, if we were doing the basic living, yeah, we would not have that you issue. Can, you, can, you can't say you just want to leave and stay in one place, okay? You but you don't. James feel. Yeah, and maybe it's more expensive more than James. Us. Tell us how you feel. <laughs> because you speak it for James, because you like luxurious luxurious just like me. Me, I like my brownies on Friday uh, night, okay? I like to eat out. I like to, you know, go travel different places and drive all the way over there. Like I like stuff like that, but maybe James wants to do the basic living. Mm -hmm. That's the basic living. But even with that basic living, he has a lot of wiggle room. Okay. He has so much wiggle room to, you know, get yourself a nice piece of pizza on Friday nights. Now let's just see. <laughs> so you think it, those are, it's just, it's expensive, bro. <laughs> What's expensive? The pizza? Uh, no, the, the money, uh, me, for me, I would say 10, $10,000, you just, you can just stay in Tanzania for one year and, and five months or six months. We about to, you know what, James? We about to put this to the test. All right. We gonna put this to the test. We gonna we gonna put this to the test. We gonna we gonna put the we gonna I'm we gonna live the basic. I'm hope no more brownies for you. We yeah. about to live the basic life to prove to James how long ten thousand dollars is gonna last. Yeah, we're gonna. See so that. you about to be eating carrots every day? Fine. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. So. If we want to do my estimate, okay, I would say divided by. But I can say yeah. just uh, Tanzania in general. Tanzania life is easy more it than is. other places. Definitely. Even Kenya is is so expensive more than Tanzania. I don't know what I'm doing over here. Hold <laughs> on, what am I doing? What am I doing? According to my calculator, James, you should be good for like four years. You should be okay. Oh, <laughs> oh my God. For this basic living like this, he should be okay for like four years. He should be okay. For oh this basic living like this, he should be okay for like four years. He should be okay. Now, that's, James, that, that, that's his now, James, if you want to, you know, start going to Serengeti, oh, you know, start, oh. <laughs> start doing some fancy stuff, it ain't going to take you that far. But you should be okay. You should be minimum it's, okay. I think it's just a, two think, two life, years. life is just a, how you want and how, yeah. you, you know, and you cannot say like uh, you just having that money so that you can not even... Yeah, enjoy life yeah, right yeah. So but maybe that's what james want you don't know what james want maybe if that money you put like a vacation money but if you put it on the life it seems like you have to uh, you know you can have ten ten dollar right now and then next day you can just have it even when you stay inside you, you're gonna buy something even a one dollar yeah so. but that's why you have the wiggle room mm -hmm. it'll definitely take you far It'll one hundred percent take you far, definitely. <laughs> if money gets low, I'll just go live in the village. Yeah, it's easy. Even in Tanzania, no, let me I, tell you this. No. Uh, in Tanzania, people if they fail their life, they go back to the village. Really? For real? They just eat. Uh, just eat something easy. They just plant themselves. They just do this. Life easy. In the village, life is easy more than in town. 
maybe I can marry a Tanzanian girl to stay in the country. Um, I don't think you need to. Um, Tanzania no. is very open to Westerns living in the country. Um, it's not that difficult to get a visa. So I don't think you have to go as far as to marry a Tanzanian to get in the country. I don't, I don't, I don't think so at all. Oh, yeah, I gotta, I gotta continue cooking y'all. So I'm about to move y'all with me. Um, yeah, I don't think that you need to go that far to do that. I think you'll be perfectly fine um, without doing that. Um, um, I forgot what I was going to say, y'all. All the oil you was going to use, all of it? I told you. Like the whole thing? The what? Of course, no problem. If y'all want us to break down anything else, ask us. Ask all your questions. Be here. Okay, you have oil? Are you sure? Yeah, I have oil. Yeah. Why are you going to read that book? Oh, you know your kitchen. Yeah, huh? I got to have my... <laughs> I know my kitchen very well. <laughs> That's possible. I'm going to have I know my kitchen very well. You can live good, what, $10,000 in Tanzania. Absolutely, you can 100% live, live good for $10,000 in Tanzania. Without a doubt. Without a, I feel like I'm like running around trying to figure out what am I doing. Trying to figure out if I got my carrots, y'all. Tomato, y'all. And onions. Do we have more onions, babe? Are we out? gonna have to do without onions um i am making beef stew with ugali um this will be my first time making ugali usually hope makes it but i'm gonna try my best and hopefully it comes out good i really hope it comes out good um we are visiting kenya soon um, I think the last time I heard the borders uh, were open, so we should be visiting Kenya pretty soon. So I just washed my veggies. Yeah, yes. I, yeah, yes. I, so... With the with the double citizenship, which I think you're talking about the dual citizenship, Tanzania does not do dual, dual citizenship, which is really annoying. Uh, well, actually, let me let me re-say that. Tanzania does not do dual citizenship when it comes to um, it's so stupid, don't ask me, but they don't don't quote me, y'all. But from my understanding, they don't they do dual citizenship for children. And then when the child turns 18, the child has to choose um, which passport they want to hold. And if you're a Tanzanian woman, if you're a Tanzanian woman and you are um, marrying a um, Western or wherever country guy, 
you can get dual citizenship. But if you're like a Tanzanian guy and you marry a Western woman, you can't get a Tanzanian citizenship or vice versa. Like a Western person could not get a dual citizenship married to a Tanzanian. And apparently a lot, most of countries in Africa are like that. They don't do dual citizenship. Show y'all what I'm doing. A lot of them don't do it. Which is like, seriously? It's like, really? What type of nonsense is that? So you have to choose which passport you would like to hold. Like, which passport do you want to hold? Do you want the Tanzanian passport or do you want the U.S. passport? See, y'all see what I'm doing. So y'all hear me crunching. That's what it is. Um, what's your favorite food for you guys to eat? What's your favorite food, Hope? Hope lo loves rice and beans. He just made some amazing rice and beans the other day. Was it the other day or was it yesterday? The day before yesterday? Oh my God, it was so good. Rice and beans, chicken. Exactly, you could always get permanent residency and don't have to give up a US passport. So there's definitely ways to go, you know, around it. Um, there's a lot of things that you can do. But in terms of specifically dual citizenship, you're not about to get luck with that. You're not. Like, you're not about to get luck with that at all. Dual citizenship. I don't know what's the problem with dual citizenship. Like, yeah, the Tanzanian government is discussing about it. So hopefully in a couple years they get it together. And allow dual citizenship. Hopefully. We hope. I'm about to cut my nose off. Hopefully. We'll see. We'll see what happens. You hungry? Uh <laughs> I just wanted to hear you say it. <laughs> what's going on, guys? What's going on with America? Has what's going on? Joe done took over. He's the president now. I heard that he's already starting to do things. Got y'all, but I can't keep up. I can barely keep up with myself. What's going on? How uh, are y'all feeling better? How's everything? How's the COVID situation? What country have you guys found the most exciting exciting for activities? Yeah. Activities, things to do. Malawi. 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 Malawi, he said. I would agree. We had a lot of fun in Malawi. Are you in Zimbabwe yet? No, I am not. We are waiting for Zimbabwe borders to open, but as of right now, we do not think Zimbabwe borders are going to be open. So we don't think that we're going to be able to make it to Zimbabwe. But we shall wait and see. They're supposed to have a press conference with the president soon in a couple days. So we're going to see what they say. But I don't think that we're going to make it to Zimbabwe. I think that Zimbabwe got a lot going on right now. And they're locked down. So, no. We're in Namibia. 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 <laughs> yeah, I'm such a silly person. I don't think y'all understand. I'm like such a silly person. And hope is really silly too. So together, <laughs> you said together we steal it. Together we steal it. Hope said together we steal it. Yeah, I've been making hope watch all of these like um how beautiful guys. 
I've been making Hope watch all of the, um, what you call it, um, <laughs> slavery movies. I'm like, listen, you need to know about American slavery and what Africans went through to get to America. I sure have, I sure have. He done learned about some Kunta Kente, okay? Period, okay? He done. You know who Kunta Kente is right now? Mm -hmm. Who's Kizzy? Who's Kizzy? Daughter. His daughter, mm -hmm. aha, who's Chicken George? George is that son. <laughs> That's my man. <laughs> Um, let me see, uh, let me see, uh, what country are you in then? I'm in Namibia right now. Um, we're just kind of just waiting to see what's going on with Zimbabwe. Um, how long was the drive from Malawi to Namibia? <laughs> <laughs> you gotta wait for the video to come out. Yeah. yeah, you go. You gotta wait for that that video to come out because um, it was a journey. It was a pretty rough journey. Someone said, "Jules, first I was giving you the side eye, but I might like you." Well, I like you, so I hope that you like me and welcome. I'm not a bad person at all. Welcome, welcome to the family. But yeah, y'all, I, y'all, <laughs> I straight up, I've been making hope why, he, <laughs> and he's into it too. And the thing about hope is that he really does not like um, series. He's not a big series person. He likes movies, you know, he likes it to end. You know what I'm saying? Like start and then end. Um, and yeah, I know Roots is a series, but Y'all, Hope was up all night watching, watching it and stuff like that. He really into it, like really, really, really into it. I'm so proud of him. It made me really happy at the fact that he enjoyed, um, that he enjoyed it. <laughs> yeah, y'all. What are some other black, good black American movies? Y'all, I'd have made him watch, you know, um, Boys in the Hood. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm not, I'm, trust me, y'all. I got this man watching these movies. He gonna learn. Um, I recommend watching Devil in the Blue Dress movie for you guys to watch. Ah, I never seen that. Is it a black American, like, slavery movie? I would love to say, I got to make him watch Harriet because mm -hmm, he needs to know who Harriet Tubman was. Do you know who Harriet Tubman was? No? See, he don't know who Harriet was. He going to learn. We might watch that tonight. I got to let him he better learn. I'm going to have this man, next time we on live, have him sing Wait in the Water. <laughs> watch, y'all. He going to learn. He is, he about to learn. Very, 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 very soon. Poetic Justice, I love that movie. I love that movie. I'm just trying to get him to learn, you know, a little bit of American history. That's it, so he see, you know, how we derive from here and things like that. Now, I mean, make my kids watch those movies, you know what I'm saying? That's just how I am. Best you could do is educate. Okay, not slavery, but a good movie. Okay, we'll check it out because we love good movies. Tell you, that's like what our life consists of. <laughs> Chicken George. <laughs> I, I had him understand, you know what I'm saying? I taught him about the word Negro and, you know, nigga and stuff like that because he didn't understand what that means. So, y'all, trust me, I'm doing my part. I'm educating this man so that he's aware. You know, he's aware of our most realities. 
Because, you know, the thing is, it's like when you're dating somebody who's not really from where you're from, and let's just say there's something that I want to discuss, how can I discuss it with somebody who doesn't know about it? So it's my job to educate him on it because it's something that's important to me. And he enjoys it. You know, he, 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 he enjoys it. So, you know, it works. It's a win-win situation. And he teaches me too. He teaches me about the politics in Tanzania and, you know, things that I should be knowing as well. So, you know, it's both ways. It's definitely both ways. It's definitely both ways. But y'all, I... <laughs> I've been making him watch Go to Good Day. <laughs> mm -hmm. One thing we do agree on is religion, so that makes life a little easier because we wear the same religion. So we follow the same Bible and all that stuff, so we ain't got to discuss that too much. But when it comes to, you know, the U.S. and, you know, this is like, a lot of people in Africa has this perception, this false perception of how America is because all they do is watch movies about Times Square, but that's not the everyday life for a black American. So to be able to show him, listen, this is what we go through. We be getting shot by cops. We be, you know, we go into the store and they be looking at us like we gonna steal. They be cursing us out. They be doing this. It's like, it's hard for him to believe because that's not what they see. They only see the movies. So I'm there to burst that bubble, baby. Like, nah, this is how it is. What's up, y'all? Ask me some questions. Y'all see, I'm on live with y'all today. A lot of y'all been like, I miss y'all, I miss your lives. That makes me happy. Y'all really, y'all rock with me. And I rock with y'all. Okay. I really do. I really do. I love y'all. And just know if I'm not on live, it's because of other reasons. It's not because I don't want to be. Trust, trust and believe that. Uh, the tattoo originated from Africa. My great grandmother hate tattoo on the side of her. Really? I mean, are tribal marks considered uh, tattoos? Yeah, it's a I have it. Yeah, we, I know you have it. <laughs> Hope has tribal marks on him. Yes, but we're not doing that to our kids. I already told him that. You know? But yeah, he has tribal marks. That's just depending on the religion, right? Hi, Hope? It, the, not the religion, the, 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 the tribe. Yeah, it's just a tribe. But you got your tribal mar marks after circumcision, right? Huh? What? You got your tribal marks after circumcision, right? No, no. When did we you get your tribal marks? I was so young. When did you get your tribal marks? It's just, uh, I don't even know it because it's, uh, it's when you were so young. And, and this is just about the protection. They say it's just a protection. Yeah, they don't have social security numbers. They have tribal <laughs> marks. <laughs> social security numbers they have tribal marks so if you got these you know you see some of them they got the marks on the face they got the marks on you know hope has them on his body the tribal mark so they look at i right, we from the same hood i right, we from the same hood um uh, for real for real <laughs> No, they don't have social security numbers. You don't, babe, you don't have social security numbers, right? I don't have that. So how can they know how many people live in the country and da 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 They know through what? Uh, the, like IDs? Yeah, through You don't, that's what But what if somebody about. never goes to sign up for an ID? Nothing. Tanzania, they don't keep records. But, but, Tanzania, they don't keep records of how many people. nowadays, like, uh, it's hard to do anything without an ID. Yeah, right now they just go through the records. Mm. But
no y'all, Hope was telling me that even, even sometimes, y'all, listen. So you could be sitting there, right? Giving birth to the baby, like, ah. And then you say, all right, I want my baby's name to be Dinah Jules. If sis go up in there and spell the name wrong, there's nothing you can do about it. She could put the address. She could put everything wrong on the on the, the birth certificate because they do everything by hand. It's not like the computer. Back in the days. Right? Back in the days. Now they're trying to they're trying to be better about it. Yeah, they're trying to they're trying to be better about it now nowadays. Ooh, Lord, what did I just do? Made a mess. What I did, I made a mess. I think I don't have any onions. I have some onion powder though, so that'll have to do for right now. Um, yeah, and like, what you call it, y'all? See, let me let me tell y'all, which is mind blowing, because me and Hope had to have a conversation about this, okay? Because I was like, uh, uh, nay, nay, not happening, no, 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 no. So for male circumcision, can I talk about this? Yes. For male, because this is education. For male circumcision. Is it in China or Tanzania? It's just a, it's just a how you want. To, don't, don't just, is it China or Tanzania? Is it your what? tribe? To do what? To have it that late. No, it's not about late. I think you don't understand. We can agree even, to disagree. Even me, you don't understand. How? Yeah. It's just how you, you, you want. It's just how your parents want. It's not something. Yeah. Like, like uh, you have to be, but my side, they just be late because they need to, you have to be strong on that. Yeah, they be having circumcisions at like, how, how old were you? Me? Yeah. Still, like eight. Eight years old. He was eight when I got circumcised. Oh, hell no. They be having circumcisions at like eight, 10, 15. Uh-uh. If it ain't cut when he born, it ain't happening. It's just not happening. That's how I feel. You know what I'm saying? That's just personally how I feel. You could feel differently, but for me, my son, if it ain't happening when he's first born, it's just not happening. It's just, it's just not happening. I, at the age of eight, you remember that pain, right? Mm mm. Nah. Mm -mm. No, it's not pain. What do you mean it's not pain? It's pain. It's pain. You cannot tell me it's not. Ho Hope is trying to front right now. You cannot tell me that it's not pain. If I was a man, I would not want to be circumcised what I can remember. I'm not trying to be circumcised at the age of 15, at the age of 10. No, 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 it's happening at birth or it's not happening, period. But it's fine. He agreed. He agreed to it. So, so we, we good. We good. Don't worry. Which tribe of women in Tanzania is the best for marriage or relationships? What? what? <laughs> we both had the same reaction. <laughs> what? <laughs> James, you're losing us. <laughs> we, both, we both had the same reaction. Like, what? You... What type of question is that? You can't ask that. What type of tribe? Every woman is different. That's like saying that, you know, this, this, like, this, I don't know, like, black is better than Puerto Rico. Everybody is different. The woman is, is completely different. I don't think it matters about the tribe. I mean, listen, what matters about the tribes is the cultural beliefs, okay? Because... For me, I could never be with a, a Maasai man because I'm not doing that whole 10 wives. It's not happening. Not in my book. Not happening. <laughs> 10 wives? With who? <laughs> it's not happening over my dead body. But it, unless you mean something like that, but in terms of like every woman has a different personality, you know what I'm saying? You might get a woman who will cook for you every day. You might get a woman who might cook for you once a week. You know what I'm saying? Like, it, it just depends. I don't know. It depends on what you're looking for. It, dep it really depends on what you're looking for. But every woman is different. Even in the same tribe, every woman is different. 
Hope is Chaga tribe. He's very different than another Chaga man. It's just, it's just different. It's just, it's just different. I'm almost going to, y'all, I can't believe that I don't got no onions. I can't believe I ain't got no onions. Um, yes, that's very traumatizing. I'm not doing that. I, there's just no way. There's just no way. Absolutely no way. Good morning. Good morning. Um, there's just no way. But there are a lot of traditional beliefs that, you know, when I'm ready to have another baby, you know, like I'll talk to you guys about, you know, because I have some traditional beliefs, you know, but not as much as Hope and his family. So when Hope and I decide to have a baby together, there are a lot of rules and regulations that I need to follow that he has warned me about. And, you know, when we get to that stage in our lives, I will definitely keep you guys posted Okay, so make sure you subscribe to DNH Adventure, um, so you guys can see what are the, some of those rules and regulations. You know what I'm saying? Um, how many kids do I want? Ideally, I would like to have um, like four or five. Like four or five. I feel like that's a good amount. Four or five. So. Right now I have one. So if I could have like four with hope, I think we'll be golden. I think we'll be golden. Uh, which place do you like better, Tanzania or Malawi? Uh, Tanzania. Tanzania. I love Malawi though, but um, definitely Tanzania. I feel like Malawi is really nice to vacation. Like, I definitely want to go back to Malawi to whenever we just want to, you know, because it's right next to Tanzania, whenever we just want to, you know, just go and relax and, you know, go do some fun stuff. I would like us to go to this whole time I thought the fire was on. It's not even on. How was your family back at home? Back at home. I think that they're, they're good. Pretty sure they're okay. Now, I don't talk to them every day, but, you know, I, when you become an adult, you don't talk to your family every day. But, you know, they're good. They're Gucci. Huh? Hmm? No, I'm talking to the people. I'm talking to the family over here. I talk to y'all way more than I talk to my family. I'm not going to lie. Is that bad? Is that bad? Because y'all are my family. Y'all my family, y'all. Y'all my family. So how's the baby? The baby is fine. She with her daddy. But she, you know, she good. She living her best life. She gonna be with us soon. I'm really excited for that. What's up, y'all? Y'all, I made some bomb cookies the other day. Like, some bomb cookies. Some really bomb cookies. Well, a lot of the time, people on the internet support you more than your family. It's true. It, it, it's true. But this is the thing. I really don't have much family, just to begin with. To begin with, I, I don't, you know? I don't have, like barely. Blood related is just my brother and my sister. And I don't even speak to my sister, so really my brother. Um, and then um, and then obviously, you know, my daughter. But other than that I consider my family or like my adoptive parent, um, other than that, that's all I got y'all, for real. <laughs> <laughs> but 
Why are you playing? Uh, sorry, y'all. Baby. Fallen. I just made Hope sad. He said, I'm not your family, right? Baby. Baby, you know you're my family. You're my whole husband. You're my family, babe. I'm sorry. <laughs> uh, I met Hope too. You my family. Mm. You, I was just about to get to that though. <laughs> Y'all to make Hope sad. <laughs> I met blood related. This so. <laughs> Y'all make sure y'all hope y'all subscribe to Hope's YouTube. Y'all see he he always working. He just created this. When are you gonna put this on YouTube? Today. Today? Mm -hmm. Well, you can't show them right now. <laughs> Some commercial. <laughs> he loves commercial. Y'all make sure y'all support him, please. Subscribe to his YouTube. Um, his artwork is amazing. Um, all right. So my oil is hot. I see you know a little Swahili. I do. I do. I've been working on the Swahili. Y'all, let's hope I don't get burnt. brother's YouTube name. My brother is actually, oh, Hope. I thought you meant my brother. <laughs> Hope FX, and I think I still have the link. That's it. That's Hope's uh, YouTube. Now I got to clean my laptop off again. Uh, just because I like to make my meat a little brown, so I want to just brown my beef a little bit before. Baby, can you get this laptop so they can see what I'm doing, honey, please? What? Can you get the laptop so they can see what I'm doing a little bit, please? Right. Um, I just like to brown my meat a little bit um, before I make it into this, like, stew. Um, are you going back to America? I am not going back to America to live, but I will always go back to visit because I have friends and family. And also my daughter goes back and forth. Um, my daughter goes back and forth from America to where we are. So most likely Tanzania. So yes, I will always go back to America a few times a year, but I will never live there again. Um, what is some, what's your favorite? I hope if you don't get out of my messages, um, let me show y'all what I'm doing, y'all. You know? You know, I just like to, you know, I just like to brown a little bit. That's it, you know? I just want to get a little brown so when he dip it, he feel that flavor. Do you understand what I'm saying? You understand what I'm saying. Right. So now I'm put this little, my little tomato juice. Come from tomato juice. Okay. Yes, yes, marinate, marinate. 
I'm going to turn my fire down a little bit because it's trying to get crazy. You know, I got my little, got my little tomato juice. You know, put my little carrots. Little carrots. <laughs> All right. Put my little carrots. And now I'm going to add some of the juice that it's been, um, that it was already boiling in. So I'm gonna add some of that. Ooh, get that flavor. That flavor come true. And then I'm gonna let it turn into stew. You know? And that's what we got going on. Period. Period. Listen, you might cook it differently, but this is the way I like it, and this is the way my man like it. So don't come at me. So I'm gonna put a top on it so it can. Now y'all, it come out bomb though. I'm not gonna lie, it come out bomb. Now it just needs to, it just needs to um thicken up and you know become actual stew. I'm going to get back to it. Just clean up a little bit. I'm coming. Ask y'all questions. I'm going to read y'all questions in a second. Keep asking. Keep asking y'all questions. I love y'all, man. I this is so long. I really love y'all. Like, I miss y'all so much. It's been forever. Honey, can you just open up the window so we can Like, I miss y'all so much. I feel like it's been so long since I've spoken to y'all. But I'm going to try to talk to y'all in a couple days. I'm going to try to talk to y'all in a couple days. In a couple days. Outside, no I'm sorry, y'all. We just like I've been laughing at talking to y'all because we just been having so much going on. I'm gonna tell y'all eventually, but we've been having a lot going on, y'all, and we've been busy. Okay, we've been so busy, just doing so much stuff, but. I'm gonna try to, you know, get back on this live game because I see I miss a girl and I definitely miss y'all. Tribal marks are better because you don't have to live within a grand mass of interest in like the Western countries with the tribal and DNA blood type. You know what? I didn't even think of that, Owen. I didn't even think of that. Um. I didn't even think of that. That is a great point. That's really a great point. I didn't even think of that. I mean, because the thing about with a social security number, they can just like look you up on any computer and it's no problem. But tribal marks, you're not going to see Pope's tribal marks unless you see his body. So you know what? That is an excellent point. That's an excellent point. That is an absolute excellent point. What did somebody else say? You said previously Malawi is uh, safe. How about Tanzania? Tanzania is safe too. Tanzania is safe too. I mean, listen, the same precautions that you have to take throughout the world is the same precautions you need to take, you know, everywhere. Um, but yeah, Tanzania is safe too. You have to be careful in... Uh, Dar es Salaam, because, you know, there are a couple of, like, careful in terms of, like, pickpocketing and stuff like that. But other than that, you know, it's safe. I feel completely fine. Huh? What you said? Boy. <laughs> he crazy.
Y'all for a minute, y'all. I, I done got thirsty. I'll have to get me some water. Anything else y'all want to ask me? I'm going to make this ugali soon. The thing about ugali is it's not really good when it's cold. You have to eat it fresh. So I want to wait until... I want to wait until the beef stew is like basically almost done. Start cooking the ugali. Mm. Ooh. Look, I'm drooling and stuff. Let me show y'all what Hope's doing and um, show y'all our view. This is Hope. You comfortable? Mm -hmm. You look very comfortable. Guys, this is the view that we have in Namibia right now. <laughs> when I tell you guys that we are in love with Namibia, child, Namibia is beautiful. Guys, look at those hills. Ooh. Man, if we could afford to live here, We'd be packing our bags. Man, maybe it's expensive. Oh, it's expensive out here. It is very expensive. But you never know. You never know. Um, you never know, you know, what life may bring, what God might bring. You know, maybe one day we'll be able to afford to live here. You never know. Um. Wow, do you know how to cook ugali? Um, no, I don't. This will be my first time cooking it. Stay tuned. In a few, I will start cooking it. Um, but I'm going to try. Hope is going to definitely coach me along. And I'm going to try because um, I need to know how to make it because Hope likes it and I like it. I, I love ugali. It's so good. Um, so I got to learn. I got to learn. Um, Hope actually wanted to make me tonight this like traditional chaga meal. And it has um, a lot of potato in it. But guys, I swear y'all, like we cannot find plantains anywhere. Like I, y'all, I haven't had, I feel like crying because this is serious to me because you have to understand how much I love platanos, how much I love plantain. And I haven't had, what was the last time I had a plantain, Hope? <sighs> Since the last time I was in Dar es Salaam, that was the last time I had plantain. <laughs> And I feel like I've been going through withdrawals because my life consists of a plantain almost every day. And I couldn't find it anywhere in Malawi. I couldn't find it anywhere in Zambia. And now I'm in Namibia and it's non-existent. People don't even know what I'm talking about. It hurts. It really hurts. Hurts. The first thing that I'm gonna do when I get back to Tanzania is get me a plantain because I like I already told Hope when we get there I want barbecue I want chicken and I want plantain and I want double the plantain because y'all don't understand how much I miss plantains like I just oh my god like I don't know if somebody else is out there who loves plantains as much as I love plantains. But the way I love plantains is like, when he talks about moving to Namibia, I'm like, but who's gonna import these plantains for me? Because I don't know how you expect for me to live the rest of my life without a plantain. Oh no, honey. I mean, especially like Chaga, like the tribe that Hope is in, like they use, they use plantain a lot, like in the soups. Um, they fry them, they bake them, they literally do everything with plantains. So it's like, how are we, no, I need plantains. How are we supposed to go without plantains? It's just, no, mm -mm. I can't live like that. That's, that's cruelty. So, yeah. 
Um, I haven't had a plan since since we left. And when did we leave, guys? When did we leave to start this safari hole? In November. You need to fly to plenty. That host talking to me about um Angolia. Hopefully, I said that correctly. Um, please tell me about your country because that will determine whether or not we're gonna stop there or not. Because um, country because that will determine whether or not we're gonna stop there or not. Because um, what you call it? Because um. He was telling me um, about it and asking if, you know, if it's worth it to stop by. Tell me, please, please, please tell me what's going on over there. How's the COVID situation? Are we going to have troubles getting in? And, um, yeah, like, what's what's going on? Because we're not, we're not far. I got I to gotta put my Africa map up, my Africa big map. Um, I'm sure we're, we're not far, we're, um, where are we? Namibia. Yeah, you're right there. Boom. Done. Right there. I mean, I don't know if we're going to be able to make it to Zimbabwe. So, you know, we got some wiggle room. Um, I heard about Angolia. That's definitely somewhere where we can 100% consider to go. Mm, Congo. I would like to go to Congo. Hope said no. He said no, he ain't going. So if I go to Congo, I'm gonna be going by myself. I don't know if that's a good idea. Um. But there's two different Congos. There's two different Congos. Which one is the safe Congo? Is there a safe Congo? And if so, which Congo is it? Help me, guys. Where's my African brothers and sisters? Which one is the safe Congo, Hope? I don't know. He, he don't. He terrible. He don't know. Feel home in Tanzania as soon you are going to adopt a way of life, including how to cook varieties of food. Yes, 100%. 100%. Oh, we don't have COVID, but our public president is following the Western powers are saying. So is the borders closed? Are the borders closed? Or are they open? Um... We heard we were gonna we, so y'all we was gonna stop in South Africa, but I have a cousin who lives in South Africa, and she was telling me how not only do South Africa has COVID, but there's apparently like a new strain of some type of virus that they're dealing with over there that's only in South Africa, and it's also in um it's in South Africa and 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 somewhere in Europe. And they were like, um, and they were like, um, they were like that is, she was like, it's too dangerous. Don't come. Da, 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 da. So we, um, decided to skip out on South Africa for right now. I've been to South Africa a million times, but Hope has never been to South Africa. So, um, we definitely want to go to South Africa so he can experience it, but it doesn't look like right now is the time. It's so complicated because like right now is like such a rough time to travel and to go around. But it's like, but it's actually, it's nice because like no one is traveling and no one is around. So we get like all of these like private areas, which is nice, but it's also sometimes like really annoying. It depends on the country, you know? Um, but which Congo is dangerous? Which Congo do they say no? And why do they say no not to go? Let me check on my stew, y'all. Let's see what my stew looking like. Let's see what it's looking like. Mm. Hold on, let me see if I can show ya. So I'm gonna... Okay. 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 It still needs to cook a little longer. Well, we getting somewhere. We getting somewhere, y'all. 
We are definitely getting somewhere. So the borders are open. Okay. I just added some fresh tomatoes as well, y'all. I'm in the mood to bake. I don't know why. I think it's because it's very rare that you get like a oven. It's very rare that you get an oven um, in a lot of places, especially Airbnbs. And the fact that this one has an oven is like, I think I'm uh, Betty Crocker. Seriously, I'm like, I wanna bake everything. I made me some baked mac and cheese the other day. Um, and it was great. However, because I had not eaten that much cheese in a long time, it messed up my stomach pretty bad. So I don't think I'm gonna do that to myself again. Maybe I can make some, I can make some lasagna. Make some lasagna tomorrow. Mmm. I gotta take I gotta take advantage of this oven for real, y'all. For real. Um, both Congos are safe, just DRC in the eastern region near Rwanda have problems. Okay. Okay. Yeah, I, I heard Robo. I heard Robo is very cheap. And I heard Congo, like, even has, like, um, cheap diamonds and stuff like that. I was like, what? That's what I heard, though, y'all. That's, that's a rumor. I don't know if that's necessarily true. But that's what, you know, people were saying. That's what they were saying. Now y'all, we leaving soon, so I have to cook all the. Now y'all, we leaving soon, so I have to cook all the food that we have. Um, I gotta make sure you know you know how because we going back on the road. You know how because we going back on the road. Okay. Hope we'll be here talk today talking about ah, I miss being on the road. So we're going back on the road, so you know I gotta cook all this meat that's here, otherwise it's gonna go bad. Um so yeah. The struggle. The struggle. Huge a struggle. The struggle. A lot to discover. Yeah. yeah. I mean, the thing that I hear, I hear so many things about Congo. I hear like mixed, you know, I hear mixed things, you know. Obviously, there's nothing that's more, there's nothing that's more important than our safety, 100%. You know what I'm saying? Like, our safety is number one. Um, but I hear, I hear a lot of things. I hear different things. But I also heard that um, Uganda could be unsafe as well. You know, listen, they say everything. They say it about everything. Like they said that they said that even in Namibia and certain areas that it's not safe. And we've been to the areas. We've been one of the areas that they said it's not safe. We've been here for a month now, and we have felt extremely safe. We have not felt unsafe not one time. So. Sometimes, you know, you can't you can't believe everything you read online. For real, for real. Like you really can't. That's why I like YouTubers because you know they be telling they really experience. You know what I'm saying? Like they straight up tell you, like, y'all, nah, don't go here. So Yeah, I'm sure. I heard that too. That is the richest with uh with minerals and, and absolutely. I think that's the problem. And every time that I every time that I um every time that I hear about a country not being safe, I'm like, why is it not safe? Because I really think about the people who live there. And I'm like, y'all say it's not safe, but why are these people why are they doing the things that they're doing? And half the time they do it because they have anything. You know what I'm saying? They don't have 
They don't, they have absolutely nothing. Like, it's like everything has been stripped away from them and they feel like this is the only way of life. You know what I'm saying? Or they're so used to people coming there and using and abusing them that they don't know any other way of life. So I feel like it becomes, you know, a slippery slope. It becomes really complicated. But, you know, like I said, either way, you know, we definitely always want to make sure that we are safe. Like that's number one priority number one priority. Hope, I think it's time for me to start making the ugali. Y'all ready, y'all? I'm nervous. I'm nervous to make this ugali. How can you make, as an African-American, ugali, like an African dish for African man? I feel like that's a lot of pressure. I feel like that's really a lot of pressure, like pressure that I don't need right now. You ready, Hope? Y'all ready for me to make this ugali? Yeah. Y'all ready? It's a blessing and a curse to have all these resources. It's true. It really is because the more resources you have and the more you have to give, you're be you become more of a target. For real, you become way more of a target. Y'all, if y'all watching this right now, press the like button. Like, press the like button. But um, but yeah, you become more of a target. And it's it's actually really sad. It's actually extremely sad. Um because and the thing is, is like people go and they take your resources and claim it as theirs. But you know what, y'all? We're not even going to get into that topic because the, then this live will be on for another two hours. I hope you're ready. All right. It's Ugali time, y'all. It's Ugali time. So, first of all, honey, can you come here for a second? And for the people who don't know what Ugali is, I want you to explain what Ugali is. I think you can just explain on the, on the kitchen. It'll be great. Sour. Y'all ready, y'all? All right. Let's head to the kitchen again. And we're going to start this ugali. And Hope is going to explain. So first of all, ugali is called pretty much every African country. No, 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 no. Look, keep my stuff on there. Just put another fire on. Oh, it's on? Else Do you agree with the statement? African African men love women who can cook. Yeah, it's true. It's true. It's not African. All of them. All uh, of he them. said it's not African. It's men. Men love women yeah. who can cook. Yeah. <laughs> can I cook, babe? Yeah. Can I cook? You cook. Mm -hmm. I cook very good. I cook actually great. I just um, am not a huge fan of cooking. I told him. I said, listen. We don't have a Dada right now because she's normally the one who cooks. But when we get one, I'm off duty. He's like, you're not going to cook for me? Yeah, I'm going to cook. So, so Ugali is called different in many, in many different countries. Okay? Now, um, if you're from an African country... What do you call ugali in your country? So like in South Africa, also in Namibia, they call it pop, right? Pop, pop. In Zimbabwe, they call it sadza. In Tanzania, wait, you doing it for me. I was supposed to do it myself. I'm the one who's cooking the ugali today. Oh, wow. I'm the one who's cooking the ugali today. So what he's done so far for me is he just put the water in it. So it's only it's only two of us that's cooking. So I'm gonna I'm gonna put the fire on to a boil, right? You don't you don't have to boil the water before you put the the flour on it. Really? Yeah, you have to put the flour on it. What are you doing? Why are you going somewhere? No, I just want to find something. Man. Oh, I was gonna say I didn't. Mean, you this is gonna be a mess. You gotta be here. Um, so depending on the African country, they call it differently, but it's all pretty much the same thing. What it is, is this right here. Um, someone said he is a lucky guy. He shouldn't fuck up. What? Yeah. 
<laughs> she's also lucky. Why are you guys always say she's lucky? She's she's not. We just both lucky. All right. I'm, oh, what you I'm said. lucky too. Yeah, you can you can just be on one side. I'm when lucky you be on too. one side, it's not real. I'm lucky mm -hmm. too. But they're team okay. diamond. All right. Yeah. <laughs> um someone said fufu. Where's uh what country is that? I don't know. What country? What country is yours? Uh, that is fufu. Okay, so look, this is starting to get hot, y'all. No, you hold the camera. I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna make it. If I mess up, then you can remake it. But this, I gotta learn how to do this. For you. All right, all right. So this is maize. We bought it in Malawi. Okay, we bought it in Malawi. So it's just water and flour. You gotta show inside. So I, I think I have to put. Oh, don't direct me. Let me do it. I think that I have to put a little bit. That's it. That's it. Exactly. And then I have to stir it. Mm -hmm. Y'all make it ugali, y'all. And what it is, is it's basically just flour. Flour and water, and it makes this like dough. And y'all see my beef, my beef stew is over here. It's you ready. Can, uh, I think you can just add uh, some. So, yeah, see, Hope is directing me, and I keep trying to tell him, but I'm the one who's doing it. Ghana. Oh, I can't wait to go to Ghana and try that uh, jollof. Mm, yes. That's it. Okay. I knew that. Mm, all right. Then you try. <laughs> I'm going to start out. I don't want no chunks. Then you just leave it a little bit. And I'm going to leave it to cook. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Just let it, you know, to be thick. I have it has to get thick, so right mm. now it's watery. Just wait. I feel it getting thick. Mm. Now you gotta show the process. Let's see, there are different types of fufu. Some make it with rice powder, cassava powder. But yeah, if I'm near, we do that too. You do it too? Yeah, if I'm near, we do that too. You do it too? Yeah. They uh, do it too. I <laughs> you have, you have the, Baby, where are you going? The thing um with spinach and lamb meat. So I don't eat lamb, but um yeah, he likes it with spinach as well. You gotta show pull the process, honey. Oh, it's getting thicker, it's harder to move. Y'all tell me how I'm doing. That you just do like having it to be the porridge. Yeah, the first stage is for it to look like porridge, what he said. So it's getting thick, but it's not thick yet. Yeah, it gotta like, be thick like me. Like a porridge. <laughs> Thicker no, like, than a snicker. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Keep going. Right. Keep going. It's getting thick. Y'all, it's my first time making ugali. Put a thumbs up for me, y'all. I'm trying. I'm an African mama. A wait, wait, wait. Oh my God, wait, baby, stir this for me. Hold on, how, how can I do this without, stir it for me, I'll be right back. Two seconds, hold on. <laughs> Hope is gonna stir, hold on, y'all. Let me show y'all what Hope bought me, okay? Hold on. <laughs> How do I do it? <laughs> like this? Yeah. No, I have to. Oh, yeah, yeah, <laughs> just like. <laughs> I gotta, I gotta wear the clothes. I gotta wear the outfit. What is it called again? A kanga. So, I, mm -hmm, no. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so, yeah, it's getting thicker. It feels like it's getting harder. So, I put more. No, just wait. So, to be bored. It's hard. That, that it's hard to be uh, like. It's already be cooked like a porridge. You can just you can take on the on the cup and drink. But you have to 
to be boiled very well so that when you just add some flour on it, it's be okay. Still just wait. Just wait, so don't start? Yeah, just wait. Should we put the fire up? When you put up, it's going to start on the oh, it's going to burn, the okay. Let's see how it's going. Mm. Let's see how my beef is doing. Ooh, y'all see how? Ooh, mmm. Yes, hope you a very lucky man. Absolutely, y'all better tell him, y'all. Y'all better tell him. All right, all right, all right. All right, so now it's ready. Okay, stir it. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. Yeah, it's getting it's getting doughy. Ooh, where am I? It's getting thicker, right? It's getting thicker. Yeah, so you just have to continue doing. Just keep stirring? Yeah. Hold on, wait, my, my conga is falling. I don't know oh how to... <laughs> I don't know how to really keep it on. It's hard, it slips off. Maybe they put a pin or something. You put too much water, did I? No, no. It's just because of, of the of the cup. Of the... It's getting thicker. Yeah. Now, this is my first time making ugali. Can y'all believe? Can y'all believe me, y'all? I'm out here, African mama, African lady, Africana. <laughs> I'm crazy. I'm watching the ball. You're burning yourself. So. Ah! <laughs> ah! So you can just remove the minimize the heat. Uh -huh. Ah! Yeah, no. Uh -huh. ah! This is dangerous. Uh -huh. This is dangerous. Faster. Mm -hmm. This is dangerous. To be... So right now you can just come in like. You can add some flour on it. Okay. Mm -hmm. Y'all. Yeah. Oh my god. For real? You just cook like that? <laughs> you stay away from I'm the skin. Uh, That's it? More? Yeah, this, no. it? Uh -huh. God! Yeah. What is this? Add and add. Put and add. add and... You have to mix still. Okay, uh, okay. I don't okay, like this with garlic pot. So I gotta get rid of the bubbles. Yeah, you have to, yeah. Oh my God. I believe this is African ladies. <laughs> I have to go faster. Add, 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 add it. Yeah. Add it. Yeah. Ooh, add it too much. Add. Add. Uh -huh, then mix it. Right. Okay, that's it. Okay. Okay, mix it. Oh my yeah. God. This is intense. Mix it. This is very intense. This is this is very intense. It's done. It's done. No, just make you don't see. Oh, my arm hurt. You don't have to see the white. <laughs> then you pull that and then add. And then add some flour. Add more flour? Mm -hmm. Ooh, we don't have to switch. My arm hurt. Got my arm burning. Uh, uh. Watch out. You're gonna Enough? Burn. Then mix. Ooh, hold on. Oh my God. Ooh. I think I did it wrong. I don't no, think it's, it's supposed fine. to look like it's this. Fine. It's fine. To add it. Me right now, I just give you the deep slowly. You know, you're not pro on that, <laughs> so that's why I just give you the big part like that, so that you can just make the small part. It's not like that. Mix, mix, mix. My mix, arm hurt. <laughs> Baby, help me. Mm -hmm. I don't want to be mix. African mama anymore. <laughs> this is intense. Don't pour your food 
Okay. Go through your mix. Okay. It's done. Now put all on it. Hope. Put flap. Still. Take over. Ah, uh -uh, put flap. <laughs> put flap on it. Ah, Mr. Dada. Yo, you do it nice. I do it nice? Mm -hmm. You just say that. All right. That's mix, it? Mix, mix, mix. Ugh, this is like an arm yeah. muscle. Ooh, yeah. and imagine they make this for a party. No party. They make this for a whole, for a big family. Mm -mm. I'm about to break off my arm. Mix nicely. You're going to eat the flour. Uh -huh. Mix, mix, mix. Let's go. Listen, the strength of an African woman is no joke. You see, you make it. All right, so it's done. No, you just wait for some second and then you again again uh -huh. how i'm doing y'all i'm you see i'm sweating you should get where it works the arm yeah it does hold on one hand with the pot and stir the other don't worry you'll get used to it keep stirring it will soon be done it ain't done soon <laughs> enough <laughs> so what's going on now is okay. it keep, keep going, going. Yeah, keep, keep going no, you do like, yeah, just draw it. Mm -hmm. Mix, 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 mix. Woo! Right, we can't have that many kids because I ain't making Ugali for all those kids. I think you have to add some a little more? bit. More? Yeah. A little bit. You're going to use the whole thing. Mm -hmm. That's good? Mix a little bit. Okay, now then mix. Got me slaving out here. I told you, watch it. So, okay. Oh, you're good. You go good. Stop, like sure. I'm about to break a nail with it. Mm -hmm. That's why they don't have the long nails and, <laughs> and they cook. So what you trying to say? You I can't. Make it short. I, I can't have my short nails. I like long nails. I have to sacrifice my nails it's so it's I can it's make it's me very. No, but on the bed. <laughs> my arm hurt. My arm hurt. This is this is not fun. I think it's done. <laughs> Let me help you. <laughs> Thank you. Sorry, ah, ah, y'all, I'm done. Someone said turn the stove down a bit. Y'all, I'm done. I can't. This is crazy. I tried. It's my first time. I tried. Let me just continue to make the meat and. Oh, you, you're making us. That's you think nice. I made it yeah, nice? But you so just... you don't put any salt or no, anything in the ugali? No, 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 anything. Why? <laughs> what are you gonna put in it? Some salt. For what? You want the flavor? <laughs> you want some flavor in the ugali? <laughs> you need some flavor. Mm -hmm. Oh, I think I messed it up. No, it's fine. It's, it's great. Are you just saying that, y'all? How do you look? Just show people that. I'm going to give you the point. <laughs> <laughs> that is not easy to make. Yeah, it's hard. So how should ugali be? It shouldn't be sticky. I remember you saying that. Mm -hmm. That it should not be sticky. Which I think mine came out sticky, so I think I did it wrong. No. Because you want to ball it up in a ball. No, don't put salt in it. I would think you had to put some salt up in there. You know what I'm saying? Let's see. Tip number one. Tip? Yeah, number one. When you see it like this, it's not ready. I did it wrong. It's not ready. Because it's still sticky. Yeah, so you have to wait. So it has to cook more, you gotta put more flour. No, you just wait. This is too complicated for me. Who we'll say that you put the, a lot of water? In it. There is someone say that. Yeah. Yeah. So you have to show them this. 
even this sugar is not enough for you. Mm -mm. Okay. Mm -mm. Okay. By the time I finish my arm would have been fell off. Okay, we just wait for a little bit. It'll be okay for me. You gotta wait for it to be thickened. Uh, mm -mm. For me. Hmm. Cooking takes time, patience, love, chemistry with your cooking partner. Listen, it does. I agree with that. But this Ugali thing. It's a little it's a little difficult. You don't have to put no oil, nothing in it. No, that's not. What? Oil? You said what? Oil? You? <laughs> I don't know. Just flour, y'all. Just flour and water. That's it. Flour and water. That's mm -hmm. it. Can't beat that. Mm -hmm. But my beef stew? It's about to be on point, y'all. It's ready. You think it's ready? Mm -hmm. It's ready. It's not. I think it's ready. It's ready. So mm -hmm. how do you know it's ready? It's ready. You see, the way it's looking like. It's ready. It's ready, y'all. So I made my first ugali. Is is that is that considered that I made it or we made it? Is it's that not about made it? You get the tissue. I learned you how have, to make it. Yeah, you have a teacher here. So I have, <laughs> you're the best teacher. So I have to do it the next time by myself. By yourself. So what's that? Did I just hear oil? Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Don't judge me. I do not know. I mean, because the thing is, it's like when you make bread, right? You know, you put the oil to, to, you know, to make it like so you can put it in a ball. So how are you supposed to make it in a ball? Because he puts it in a ball and then he dips it. So you're not supposed to put oil to make it like, you know, oily. I don't know. Uh, when are you going to be doing vlogs in Namibia? We're going to start doing vlogs in Namibia next week. Next week, but you guys are not going to get that content until, you know, a few weeks. Because, you know, we got we to gotta film it. We got to, um, you know, Hope has to edit it. Um, you know, Hope has to edit it. You know, all that stuff. So, it, you know, it takes time. Takes time. Mm. Yeah, this ugali was complicated. I mean, it's easy, but it takes a lot of arm work. That's a little bit of the struggle for me. Um, that's it. No oil, you salt, nothing else. Those starches allow the ball to have dishes all over Africa. There are plenty of these cooked things all over Africa, East, West, South. That's awesome. Well, I love the taste of it, so I ain't complaining. I ain't complaining. Why does it take that long to make it? I don't know. Why it takes so long to make it? I don't know. Yeah. Oh, he said Ugali does not take more than 20 minutes. Because you're a beginner. I'm a beginner, y'all. <laughs> be patient with me, y'all. Don't be mean to me. Be patient. You know? It took me some time because it's a little difficult. My arm is killing me. And I see the ladies. They do it like it's nothing. They just be in there twisting and turning. And I always thought, okay, you know, look, it looked pretty easy to do. Now, nah, y'all, it's difficult. It's a little difficult. It's a little challenging. Yeah, that was my first time. I feel like if I make ugali for like a week, 
I feel like my arm muscles, I'm, I'm going to have guns. I'm going to have big guns. Yeah, I'm going to have very big guns. Like, if you're not slowly. Slowly, yeah. Slowly. Y'all, I done had too much fun. Too much fun talking to y'all. Seriously. Like, yeah, the Ugali is definitely done because it's, it's, it's becoming a, uh, yeah, the ugali is definitely done because it's, it's, it's becoming a, uh, see? It's becoming like a thick, thick madam. Very thick. It's hard. It's my first time making ugali, y'all. Okay. You know, I see me coming African slowly but surely. You know? Mm. Yeah, I ain't that easy. I'm gonna show y'all the end result. Hold on, I'm coming. You don't wanna get down there. And it's hot. Mmm. Mm, but it's nice. I feel like you gotta beat the ugali, you know? You gotta beat it to shape it. I don't know how those ladies be doing it so perfectly, but. My plate ain't gonna be perfect, okay, y'all? It's looking more like mashed potatoes than ugali, but I try. Y'all help me, how do I shape it? How do I make it look nice? <laughs> I'm making a mess. I'm making an absolute mess. All right, let me show y'all. Ta-da! Beef stew with ugali. I don't have any greens right now, but the greens would have went on the side. Yeah, see? I tried now, but the greens would have went on the side. Yeah, see? I tried. I tried. That's the best for my first time making ugali. I tried. It looks a little like mashed potatoes rather than ugali, but it is 100% ugali. It's just, I don't know how to shape it. Like, I'm trying to slap it and beat it. But I feel like it's making it. But I feel like it's making it. I feel like it's making it worse. Yeah, see, let me show y'all. I'm trying to. I feel like it's making it worse, y'all. <laughs> I feel like it's making it look like more like mashed potatoes. That's Slap it to get it in there. I tr I'm trying, y'all. Oh, you see, now I'm making a mess. All right, that's it. That's how you're going to get it. It looked like mashed potatoes. I tried. I tried. I tried. All right, y'all. So I'm about to end this lap so we can eat. What other visa? What other visas? Um, other than a tourist visa, can you get with longer stay in Tanzania? Is there a difference between that and the business as far as stay and opportunities? I get a stick and wet a little bit, and then then you slap it. I'm gonna try that. 
Yeah, um, that's true. That's true. Also, that's the two see, na- the tip number see, two. No, don't don't steal that's this tip because no, you ain't that, telling me that. I'm that, standing there slapping it. It ain't it ain't rounding properly. Oh wow! Oh, I'm talking about uh, you're talking about the the, the way slapping. you to slap it, no, you shape no. it. <laughs> that is no good. <laughs> that is no good for the health. If you want to do, you can just have with another plate, and then you the plate, and then you just. Yeah, ship it. Mm. Yeah. So um, in terms of the visas, I'm pretty sure there's a bunch of visas that you can get. Even if you're like in a dependent visa, I know that's like two years. There's so many visas that you can get that um, that are longer. Um, you become a pro pretty soon and you got to shape it with a wooden paddle or a hand into a ball shape usually. I tried. What is the difference between eating with your left hand and your right? Me? No, I'm the left. left He's left handed. Yeah. So He's left-handed. just normal, but it's uh, sometimes disgusting for to eat with other people or some some people with beliefs like Mus- like Muslims. They don't want uh when you, to saw you when you, to see you when you eat with your left hand. They they think like it's not perfect. But me, I'm just using. Left hand. Yeah, he, he's left-handed. Left hand. He writes with his left, left hand. He does yeah. everything. I'm right-handed, so I use the right hand. But so um, we're just here. We just depend. Tip, tip. All right. High five. High five. <laughs> um, but um, I think it depends on um the country and maybe the culture and how they go about it. I have no idea. Um, but yeah. All right, you guys. So we are going to get our grub on and eat some good food. Um, I love you guys. I will see you guys later. I had so much fun on this live. I will try my best to try to get back more on the live situation. Um, but I will speak to you guys later. Say bye. Bye. <laughs> Don't forget to subscribe on me. Yes, let me put his link yeah, one more time. Just a little bit. Even one k <laughs> <laughs> If you want to know about technique, um about technique, about cameras, editing, you can just follow me and then you can see. Even on uh, Patreon. They, yeah, mm-hmm. even on my Patreon. And if they want also to see some sometimes like uh drone shots, mm-hmm. uh different countries, different um uh, cities so it's over there you can just go on and subscribe on me and yeah thank you yes yes absolutely all right you lady y'all